Hey everyone, so today we will discuss how to create polls in your Slack app. Uh, the easiest way how to do it, which apps you can use, etc. So, uh, in order to easily create polls in Slack, you will need to add uh, an app. So, uh, in my experience, of course, you have Simple Poll and you have Polly app. Uh, in my experience, the best way is uh, to work with Poly. So what you need to do is you just need to install Poly app. So let's just do it. So after I installed my Poly app, uh, I can see this notification here in my Slack interface. And from here, Poly app uh, offers you two types. Basically, you can start a poll or you can do a survey. So what is the difference? Poll is one question and survey is many questions. So you can create a poll straight from your Slack app. Uh, so you just should type Poly and then uh, your question. So here it is. Uh, so then I have uh, more options, which I can do right from Slack. Uh, I can press, for example, one to five. So people will choose uh, for, for in range from one to five, one to 10. I can then put co uh, something like agree, disagree, uh, or I can put uh, multiple choice and add my own options. So let's do that. Um, or I can do open-ended poll type. So uh, as well, I can put uh, it's one-time poll or uh, every day recurring or some months recurring and stuff like that. Then after that, I need to select the channel. Let's do it in general channel. And then what else I need to do? I just need to submit it to channel. And after that, I will immediately receive this notification. So all members of my team will receive uh, this notification in general channel. And here how it looks like. So basically, Polly has a poll for you. Did you li like lunch today? Yes or no? So let's just put yes. And here you will see that who told yes and who told no. Mm, I think you can also do it uh, an anonymous poll, so uh, people won't be able to see who replied yes and who replied no. Uh, and uh, because some very often in my company people are like, no, we don't want to see who replied what. So there is an option to do that anonymous in Poly. Uh, but basically how it this is how it works this is uh, a very simple option to create polls in your slack channel uh, another thing i want to stress about is that you can also create surveys in your slack channel however they are not that popular as polls but uh, you can just type poly survey uh, and uh, you will need to use web interface for that. So you will be redirected to some uh, page. And from here you can same as same as from Slack, add all these questions. Uh, you can do recurrent survey or one-time survey when you want to schedule and then you can add different choices you can add this required you can add another question
uh, and stuff like that. So I just created a new survey with Poly and let's just have a look around it. So here is the survey. I have that it has just two questions and it closes uh, in a week. And I have notifications that responses are non-anonymous uh, and results will be available when everybody can complete the survey. So, and then what happens, Polly sends me a direct message uh, of this survey. What's lunch? Okay, yes. What did you like? Okay, fish. So here it is. Uh, this was the survey. Uh, and I responded to it in my direct uh, message. So basically this is how it works uh, and I hope it will be useful for you or your team. Thanks for watching.